Hello there all you beautiful people, my name is Gunnar Clovis, I am a game developer, and today I would like to play Dino Kart by Snarf. I played this game originally when I was just recording gameplay from itch.io games without commentary, which I stopped pretty shortly. And and yeah, I played play this game and I no, I initially wasn't loving it, but then I, I really got into it, I actually really like this game. And Snarf seems pretty darn prolific. Um, Fun making games, hope you will have fun playing them. Awesome, like I would love to play all these games. This is a ton of games, it's kind of intimidating, frankly. Uh, but I, yeah, just wanna come back to Dino Kart real quick. It was a game made for the Weekly Game Jam 41, so really early in cycle. Weekly Game Jam has gone on for a long time now. Uh, it's really, really great to see. So this is a 3D racing game, which is awesome for the Weekly Game Jam. Made in Unity with WebGL. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I really like this intro. We got all these nice little cars going out. They are very unified in a nice little orderly line. But then it's like dinosaurs on motorcycles or dino cycles. Uh, I mean, the dino cart looks like it's a dinosaur riding a cart, but all the cool statues, it looks like it's a it's a velociraptor cycle. And that's so sick, and I love it. So here's, here's the race. Um, I didn't look at the controls again, but I'm just using WSD. I'm, I'm mashing down that W to try to accelerate, and I whiff, uh, which is exactly what happened the first time I played this game. <laughs> X to restart. It has, uh, yeah, multiple laps. Nice little particle effects. Honestly, this game looks really nice because uh, it's all just this lovely low poly, and I I, I freaking love the, the Velociraptor st statues. <laughs> Velociraptor cycle statues. They're super cool. Yeah, but this is exactly what happened the first time I played this game. Like, I just totally got destroyed and running into walls. Um, okay, actually, I'm catching up. But yes, just pink. Pink is so fast. And I, I do very much do not think I'm going to be able to catch up to them uh, this game. Because I messed up way too much. Just look at them go. But yeah, this game is so is so nice looking. Uh, it has all these awesome particle effects. Re this, oh, holy crap, I'm actually... Yeah, I lose, but that was really close to when I'm beating pink. Ah, man. <laughs> yeah, just it's really nice. Look at how all the tires uh, spin independently. Like, it's kind of... It's simple, but it's very good looking. I like it quite a bit. And that, I'm pretty sure that part slows me down, but I want to kind of get right in front of someone. I don't want to get behind them, because then I give them a boost, but if I get in front of them, they can kind of give me a boost. Uh... But yeah, this is really great. Racing games are one of the best games to make uh, for jams because they're pretty much the simplest to get a minimum viable product for. That primarily being for 2D racing games, is that's literally just like a sprite moving across the screen. Uh, as a 3D racer, this is obviously quite a fair bit more complicated, but it's so well done. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't see many 3D uh, racers on itch. It's it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty novel. I just really want to pass pink. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, ah. Okay, I got pink. Oh, that's genuine joy. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes. Yes, this game is really simple. Not a lot to it, but it's very well done. It's really cute. I like the logo. I mean, the kind of parchment color. Uh, well, it has a drop shadows, so it's just like this outlined. It's a little scratchy. I'm not sure I, I totally dig it. And the transparency in the eye, I feel like that might... Yeah, I'm not sure if all the transparency was necessary, but I'm super nitpicking. Um, it's also... I, I don't get why we're dinosaurs. We all just kind of look like like little low-poly humans, right? Look kind of blobby. Uh, I can't, let me see if... I, can I even get a good look? No, because I'm always behind... Uh, from the camera, but it looks like a person right driving the car. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe it is supposed to be a little velociraptor. I just can't see the front of the face, and so I'd really like to, because <laughs> right now it just kind of looks like a like a weird uh, fella. I restart and try and pass yellow and get a look. It's really hard to tell. Oh, yellow, yellow. Ah, see, when I get when I get past them, they just look like people. I don't know, but this game is very simple for a weekly game jam. It's really nice. I I really love the look and feel of it. it it's it is 
fairly satisfying to play, and I really didn't expect it to be. <laughs> With, uh, yeah, just this nice low-poly art style, nice particles, gives a nice trail to it. You know, this, of course, could be made more complicated and into a more fully featured game with, you know, like power-ups and different terrain types or, I don't know, you could customize the cart an uh, infinite number of ways you can take this, like with any cart racer. But it's just a really nice, uh, really solid, simple jam game, and I, I quite like it a lot. The page could use uh, some work. This is obviously just like completely default page. That's my no commentary video from before. Um, but yeah, it's just this default white itch page, which is yeah bland. Wish it was spruced up, but obviously this game was made very early on in Snarf's itch career. They've gotten way beyond this game, and uh, these all look much, much better. Yeah, really, really cool. But it's so cool that it's playable in browser. It runs great in browser, which is awesome. That's rare to say about uh, 3D games. That's really, really cool. Uh, this is just, yeah, not a ton to talk about, but it's just very well done. And I wanted to <laughs> cover it again, just like I want to cover all of the itch.io games that I played originally without commentary, most prolifically, <laughs> prolifically with my friend uh, Potatoes Are Not Explosive. Uh, they have just really awesome games, and I, yeah, I recorded a bunch of footage of them, but I'd like to cover them again with my commentary. I'll be doing that for all of those games, and yeah, ton of games. I've, I have so many on my docket, <laughs> so many games to cover on this series, Itchy for Jam, where I play these itch games and I critique them to offer help to, you know, feedback ideas for the developer, but really for you, the viewer, and truly for myself, <laughs> uh, learning from the good ideas and the bad ideas and, and yeah little nuances of execution things we can take away there's always something to learn it's great to study other people's work to see where you might want to yeah copy their ideas because <laughs> good artists copy great artists steal you really want to uh yeah see what see what other people are doing it's really it's really beneficial and really fun for me i really love doing this so thank you for watching and listening. This is a brief little video. I just want to get this out <laughs> before the day ended. I am very busy running my Global Game Jam site for this year, which has been going very, very well. <laughs> but thank you. Please stay well rested. Keep making games. I would love to see you all make a game every week. That is so awesome. Really great to improve. Remember to love yourself, respect others, respect your own time. <laughs> Eat healthy and be happy. Goodbye.